Guns, ammo, and explosives. Disturbing discoveries made after the arrest of an arson suspect. But tonight, authorities believe plans for more destruction were interrupted. As News 13's Marissa Lucero reports, an APD officer was in the right place at the right time. 28-year-old David Hickman made his first appearance in federal court this morning. Now, investigators haven't charged him with other attacks we've seen in the past week, but they also tell us they're not looking for any other suspects. We've had multiple fires around the city uh, that have attacked multiple businesses. But it was the last fire set here at the Old Navy off I-40 in San Mateo late Friday night that led police to David Hickman. News 13 has obtained the federal criminal complaint. In it, the feds say an Albuquerque police officer was up the street and heard a series of small explosions, drove toward the Old Navy and saw a car in the parking lot that wasn't there just a few minutes earlier. Then saw someone running into the Old Navy through broken windows. That attention led to that vehicle being stopped at Manal and Carlisle. When police took Hickman into custody, he had a loaded handgun in a holster, an AR-15 rifle in a box full of containers of explosive material called tannerite on the seat and mason jars in the trunk. Sources tell us there was gasoline in the jars. Once this was happening, it was a very scary uh, prospect that it could happen to us. People who do things like that aren't probably rational human beings. Right now, Hickman is only charged with the Old Navy explosion. We asked if investigators believe he's also responsible for other attacks on three Starbucks, a Barnes and Noble, an anti-abortion ministry, and the Carlisle condo building in Knob Hill. I'll say it again. Uh, we do not believe that our community is in um, any harm. Um, we believe that uh, based on the arrest that was made early this morning, that our community is safe. According to the criminal complaint, when Hickman was arrested, he had a list with the name Old Navy on it. We reached out to the FBI for more details on the case, but we haven't heard back. Marissa Lucetto, Care QE News 13. Hickman was driving a Ford C-Max hybrid. It's similar to the one captured on surveillance video last week outside the pro-life ministry on San Mateo near Lomas, right before that building was set ablaze.